It's Tuesday and we're in Simpsonville, South Carolina and uh, I wanted to share with you a message called Get Out of the Dark. <laughs> I was kind of reminded as I toured through our condo complex. Uh, uh, it's uh, 29 acres and there's 108 different uh, housing units within the 29 acres. Uh, all of the lights are out for Christmas. Uh, many people have taken their sunrooms and opened up their blinds and allowed their Christmas trees to be seen from the street. And uh, They've decorated the fences around their little patios and have some put out some uh, illuminated Christmas decorations and it's uh, always fun to watch. But I wouldn't want to have to walk by that light because you see most everyone's changed over to these little tiny LED lights and some of the lights uh, uh, that are there are, are very colorful when it's dark but they are certainly not enough to guide you at night. So let me read to you from 1st John chapter 1 beginning at verse 1. What was from the beginning and we have heard what we have seen with our eyes and have looked at and touched with our hands concerning the word of life and the life was manifested and we have seen and testified and proclaimed to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was manifest to us what we have seen and what we have heard and proclaimed to you also so that you too may have fellowship with us indeed our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. These things we write so that our joy may be made complete. God is light. This is the message we've heard from him and announced to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. No darkness at all in him. It's really quite interesting when you think about it. I heard a story about a football player that went in for an interview with a team and uh, basically he said he could do it all. He could kick, he could pass, he could run, he could block, he could do it all. And when he left, uh, one coach said to the other, man, he seems like he's perfect. The other coach says, well, not quite perfect. And the first coach said, well, why not perfect? And he says, the problem is he lied. I've seen him in his tryouts. <laughs> well, that's exactly what the scripture is saying. They had seen, they had heard, they had touched the word of life. That's Jesus Christ. And uh, they were proclaiming that to those that they were writing to. The ultimate purpose was that their joy might be complete. God wants us to have joy. And he wants us to be in the light. Because God is light and there is no darkness at all. It's not like these Christmas lights around our neighborhood. Uh, there's no darkness in him. And that uh, light brings about some really wonderful benefits. That light is, is something that gives us a great confidence because it's not like these little Christmas lights. It's a brilliance. It's one that guides us, one that constrains us by revealing our sin, and one that shows us that we don't have to be afraid. There's a song that we sing at Christmas time, Joy to the World, the Lord Has Come. And in that Lord, we find the light. We find the light that shows us salvation. We show us the light that can guide us through life and the light that uh, continues to restrain us by showing us the sin of our lives. In Psalm 27, we just studied that this week in our Sunday school or Bible study class. Uh, we, we realize that when the Psalm starts out, it says, the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear so as we think about this Christmas season remember that the light came and the light is the word and the word is Jesus Christ and he died for our sins so that we could have him as our Savior it's a great thought it's your thought for the day God bless you and have a great day